Tonight is the fourth Sunday of the month. We'll be taking steps 11 and 12. This is Mike, alcoholic. Welcome to Beginner's Big Book Alcoholics Anonymous group. We are recreating the beginner's classes from the early 1940s and 50s when the sobriety rate was an average of 75%. In Cleveland, it was as high as 93%. We take the 12 steps every month. On the first Sunday of the month, we take steps 1 and 2. Second Sunday, steps 3, 4, and 5. Third Sunday, 6 through 10. And on the fourth Sunday, we take steps 11 and 12. We take the 12 steps at the group level as an overview. For those who want to take the 12 steps on a one-to-one -one basis, please connect with a sharing partner. A sharing partner is a person who has taken all 12 steps, recovered from alcoholism, has had a spiritual awakening, and is willing to work with the newcomer. Will the sharing partners who want to work with others please raise your hand? Thank you. For the people that want to take the 12 steps, please connect with a sharing partner after the meeting ends. We have big books for sale at group cost of $8. Each page and paragraph is numbered. Please do not write in a book. This is the AA preamble. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength, and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is the desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organization, or institution. Does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics achieve sobriety. Here's a quote from our co-founder Bill Wilson, written in the 1958 A Grapevine. Sobriety, freedom from alcohol, through the teaching and practice of the 12 steps, is the sole purpose of an AA group. End quote. For those who want their paper signed, please hang on to them till after the meeting is over. We will sign them after the meeting is over, after we had said the Lord's Prayer. Sometimes this meeting goes over one hour. If you have to leave it at 7.30, do not expect to have your court paper signed. Or if you have to leave before 7.30, Again, do not expect to have your court papers signed. We sign the papers after the meeting is over, after we had said the Lord's Prayer. This is done as a courtesy. It's not mandatory that we sign your paper. Please silence your cell phones. Please no texting during the meeting or talking. Let's take a moment of silence to invite the God of our own understanding into our hearts and remind ourselves why we are here tonight, followed by the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. We'll be passing the basket now for the seventh tradition. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. Thank you. For those who can get on the Internet, we do have resources online for these workshops. We have a MP3 format, file format, and PDFs for the handouts. 
They are posted on the website spiritualsteps.com. Again, spiritualsteps.com. We have the workshop for Paul Fisher, Brian and Catherine, and Ken B. And again, spiritualsteps.com. For those who want to go to YouTube, we have a YouTube site dedicated to Alcoholics Anonymous. Simply Google AA100011 and that will take you directly to the YouTube channel where currently there's over 19,000 subscribers and over 370 videos. A to Z pertaining to Alcoholics Anonymous and recovery from alcoholism. And again, that YouTube channel, simply Google AA100011 and it will take you directly to that YouTube channel. Thank you. Let's go to page 59 and let's listen or read the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. Here are the steps we took, which are suggested as a program of recovery. One. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. Two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Three, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. Four, made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. 5. Admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. 6. We're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. 7. Humbly asked Him to remove our shortcomings. 8 made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. 9. Made direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. 10. Continued to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. 12. Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. Let's start with step 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. Okay, in step 11 it talks about prayer and meditation. Prayer is asking God. There's all kind of prayers in the big book where it says we ask God. And meditation is simply listening. So a relationship, by definition, is talking and listening. you got to have both. So when we pray, we ask God, for example, take, take the fear away ask for strength and direction and when we pause we listen and we hear guidance we hear inspiration and intuitive thought 
and we use the four absolutes absolute honesty absolute unselfishness absolute love absolute purity as a way of discerning or telling or testing what is coming from God and what is coming from us and in the book Alcoholics Anonymous they use self-will versus God's will and in step 11 we're going to practice a five minute quiet time I get up in the morning I say a third step prayer I do a five minute quiet time it's suggested that you write down anything that you hear in your guidance or hear in your in your five minute quiet time so if you get quiet for five minutes and you write down your guidance write down everything that goes through your mind then apply the four absolutes this is a way of testing what is coming from you versus what's coming from God so if I got guidance for example of I want to avoid that person that's not loving so it fails one of the four absolutes when we test our guidance or anything that we write down in our meditation it must pass all four absolutes it must pass honesty purity of motive unselfishness and love if it has one of the liabilities of self-will just one dishonesty resentment fear selfishness it fails the guidance it fails the test as coming from God let's start with a quote on page 86 paragraph 2 page 86 paragraph 2 and this is the directions in the book Alcoholics Anonymous for step 11 when we wake up in the morning it says on awakening On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially asking that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Under these conditions, we can employ our mental faculties with assurance, for after all, God gave us brains to use. Our thought life will be placed on a much higher plane when our thinking is cleared of wrong motives. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking. Okay, in that last quote, it says, before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking. So there's a prayer. We ask God to direct our thinking. So if God is going to direct our thinking, we're going to receive thoughts from God. And the way we tell the difference between what's coming from God and what's coming from us is that we use the four absolutes as a way of telling if this is coming from God or is it coming from us. And again, when we write down our meditation, our guidance that we receive in our quiet time, Anything that passes the four absolutes of honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love is considered coming from God. Anything that comes from self-will, just one of them, 
will fail the guidance or fail the meditation, selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear. And that's it's really that simple. Let's take a five-minute quiet time. We have paper and pencils on the table. Hopefully, you will learn how to meditate. It's really this simple. Just find a spot that you won't be distracted, usually in the morning. The morning is the best, but you can do this anytime. Where you simply get quiet, say a prayer for the knowledge of His will and the power to carry it out, and simply get quiet for five minutes. Just do it for five minutes. Just try this for one week. Just try it for one week, five minutes in the morning. And we're going to practice step 11 by having a conscious contact with the God of our understanding. So we're going to take a five-minute quiet time. Paper and pencils on the table. We're going to have a prayer. We have Catherine from a previous workshop. She's going to give us a little prayer. And we're going to have five minutes of silence. And simply write down everything that goes through your mind. Put it on paper. After the five minutes is up, anything that you consider that is past the four absolutes, if you would like to share this in the meeting, please feel free to share anything that you've written down in your guidance in your quiet time that you consider has passed the four absolutes. We ask you that you share this in the meeting. And this is called two-way prayer. You know, you're talking to God and you're listening to God. That's, that's a relationship. And that's practicing step 11. So here's the prayer from Catherine. And we're going to take five minutes. Simply write down everything that goes through your mind. After the five minutes is over, we're going to apply the four absolutes. And if you feel that you, you know, you're comfortable to share this in the meeting, please share anything that you consider that has passed the four absolutes. Thank you. It's... Um it's nice to have some kind of ritual around it where you do a reading or something. Some people like to breathe deeply or have a special place that they sit every day and do this, a quiet place somewhere you feel comfortable, somewhere that you're honoring this, you know, this procedure. Okay. Well, and again, you know, this is a, this is a spiritual exercise like everything else. So is prayer. Now, what we like to do, uh, one time I was doing my prayer and meditation few years ago and I and I got the the uh, the message or the direction to write what I all I could think of calling it was a pre prayer prayer <laughs> something to get me in the right space you know so that I wasn't uh, I wasn't off base and and um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this prayer and then we're all going to sit quietly and write down whatever comes to mind and, re and for just two or three minutes. And remember, you can't do this wrong and you can't fake it either. <laughs> it's going to it's just going to happen. It'll be fun. We're going to we're going to uh, hear what some of these uh, responses are that we get. It's really exciting. OK, here is our uh, here's the prayer I wrote. God, during this quiet time. I pray that my writing will reflect that my life is presently being guided by unselfishness, honesty, purity, and love. I pray to now open myself to receive your guidance and direction. I pray for the will to take your direction in a timely manner that I may continue to grow spiritually and experience a profound life of serenity and joy. Amen. Okay, let's do our writing.
Okay, we'll stop there. That was about four minutes. It's a long time when we sit quietly with our higher power, isn't it? It feels good. Well, thank you for doing this exercise with us. We realize that these messages can be very personal and are normally discussed with only your sponsor or sharing partner. However, if you believe the group can benefit from what you have received, we're asking you to share it with us now. In addition, you will be helping those who are still struggling with the 11th step to see how God discloses himself to us. Now, only share what you have written without further explanation. We'll be here all day otherwise. (laughs) And I know it's tempting, but, you know, you'll have a chance to share this with other people in the future. Now, let's keep it simple. I always want to try to keep it simple. Now, who is willing to start us off with what they have written down? After everybody has shared their guidance, we have what we call three-way prayer. Now, this is something... You heard the expression, God talks through people. Uh, The three-way prayer is in reference to guidance that you've shared tonight in the meeting that has helped somebody else in the meeting. And that's considered three-way prayer. So, in other words, we're going to share our guidance that we receive from our five-minute meditation. Write it down, and we're going to share it. After we're all done sharing our two-way prayer with God anybody in the room that has listened to your guidance and has benefited from their guidance is considered three way prayer and we encourage you to write that down so we will share the three way prayer immediately after we share the guidance from you your meditation hopefully that makes sense I again basically we're going to share Our meditation, as we write it down on the paper, after we're all done, people in the room who have benefited from your guidance will write that down also. That's considered three-way prayer. So we encourage you to write down anything that you hear from somebody else, and we'll share that also. And that's called three-way prayer. Okay, at this point, we're going to turn off the tape player. And we're going to take the time to listen to meditation that you've written down in your five-minute quiet time. That's considered two-way prayer. We're also going to take the time to listen to three-way prayer. Now, the three-way prayer is in reference to anything that you've heard from somebody else that has helped you tonight concerning guidance. And we encourage you to write that down also. So again, we're going to take the time to do that. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the tape player. Once we've shared the two-way prayer and listened to the three-way prayer, we'll turn on the tape player.